Subscribe Gadget Filter channel and tap the bell icon to never miss any update. Hey YouTube, this is Shadat Shubud back once again from Gadget Filter channel and today I am presenting you guys the review of Paranoid Android 7.2 with the build of Nougat 7.1.2 and of course some reworked features and clean implementation in the classic Paranoid Android fashion. So guys sit back, relax and enjoy the show. So before going for review there is more custom room reviews for oneplus x in this channel make sure to subscribe for getting new updates of oneplus x so guys any further ado let's go ahead and see what we have got in this room so first we have the pi controls across the whole system when enabling immersive mode this feature isn't new however it had been reworked to look a lot cleaner and blended more with the ui pi can be used by triggering immersive mode in the quick settings and then swiping up from the bottom edge of the screen. It then slightly darkens the background allowing you to see the clock, date and battery level as well as your notifications and an option to open up Google Assistant. You can also snap it to whichever side of the screen you prefer and if we take a look at the settings you will see several options to customize the Pi controls to your likings. You won't be able to add any other toggle to these controls but for now I am glad it's back. CM support has always been a big part of Paranoid Android and this release is no different. We see they added support substratum themes so you can now use third-party themes from the Google Play Store. They have also added what they call a color engine throughout the system. To find this option, go into settings, display, and then theme. You can choose a primary color and an accent color. There is also a fully dark mode for AMOLED display. And for those, I like to have a black UI so that the screen doesn't burn your eyes at night. This is more of a lighter torch from traditional theme engines as they only configure the colors. And in my opinion, that's all I want to change. Still, it's always good to have an option, light and heavy customizations. These two big major features that this room is launching with you also get the usual custom room features of having a quick pull down, different battery styles and the ability to lock apps in a recent menu option. Because I have just installed this ROM so I can't much say about the battery life. So this ROM is pretty much fast and smooth as well as the camera of this ROM is in decent quality. So guys that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe and I will catch you in the next one.